How's it going guys, Lucas here. Let me introduce you to the next addition to the Lazy Panda Toolkit. And it's called Easy Slime. So Easy Slime <laughs> is doing what the name is saying, just creating slime between geometry. So what we have here is our input geometry. Um, I just copied a few like rocky pieces um, into the setup and just did a random orientation using normal. You can do orient whatever, um, but this is my input now. And the only thing I have to do really is to put it into Easy Slime and Easy Slime creates the slime in between those rocks. To see them combined, just merge the slime output and the input output, so the geometry that you're putting in. Um, and now you can see them combined. The parameters that we have are the main density, which means um, it's the density of the thicker pieces. Um, then we have a sack value that allows you to let those strings strands sack a little down and the drip density so more drips less drips to preview a bit quicker you can switch from full geo to curves only and now you see the curves only and if i do main density you can see it fills up quite a bit and obviously now it also has more points to add drips so this might be a, mud, a bit too much drips so let's reduce this a little bit and what we have here now uh, should be a quite dense slimy input or output you can see yeah this looks <laughs> quite disgusting uh, but I guess that's that's what you want probably so yeah you can lower it down again um, to have less density in between and then you could uh, increase the drip count again and obviously the sack so for the sack again let me go here so you can see they sack more or less um, and you can see some of them actually get deleted because they uh, will collide so as soon as they collide they get deleted yeah, that's uh, <laughs> pretty much it. Um, next thing to come to this is um, simulation and movement support. So right now, if I um, let's say if I change this this chitter, uh, the seed it it would still work immediately, but obviously it wouldn't work if you animate those because the points would. Uh, that are scattered on here they would change and then your lines would jump so right now it's only working on static geometry um but in the next version it will work on moving geometry as well and there's also an option to like simulate between so if these two would move back and forth whatever you would see like some stretching and stuff um in between those lines for now it's quite basic um but already gives you a very cool result i think so yeah hope you have fun with it Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Cheers.